Hello, I'm Leslie Nevison of Mama Tembo Tours and Congo Wildlife Adventures. The Congo Basin Safari is comprised of visits to two national parks, one in the Republic of Congo where I used to live and the other in the Central African Republic. They might come extremely close and stand there and look at you. There are a lot of elephants about. Uh, with elephants, our guides are extremely experienced because we have tons in the area. Um, sometimes, sometimes you have to run. You never run into gorilla charge. The best thing is just to hit the ground and look away, and it's usually a bluff. Gorillas charge, just um, try and pretend you're not there, basically. These Congo Basin parks are not for everyone. You must be patient and flexible travelers for this part of the world. But a safari is either an adventure or it isn't. And this Central African safari must be rated as one of the best adventures on the African continent. Getting to the Congo Basin isn't easy. The journey begins with a flight to the northern Congo town of Oweso from Brazzaville, the Republic of Congo's capital. This is followed by a ride up the Sangha River in a motorized pirogue. This boat trip can take between two hours and seven hours, but can become a major highlight of the safari. Once inside the Congo Park, some destinations are reached by 4x4 vehicle, while others are reached on foot. The reward for such efforts is to see Western lowland gorillas. Are your efforts worth it? Absolutely, you bet. But the importance of travel here goes beyond seeing gorillas, as exciting as that is. It's about seeing gorillas in context. These rainforests, where the western lowland gorillas live, are some of the last remaining on our planet. These forests are people's homes too, and when we visit, we learn about their lives here, the role the forest plays in their beliefs, diets, and traditional medicines. It is difficult to say which is the greater attraction to Congo Basin travel, <laughs> culture or wildlife. It is fortunate to have both available to us. A trek to see habituated gorillas is a major highlight to a safari to these parks. But there is also the opportunity to see wild gorillas in the Republic of Congo. In a magical place, a saline clearing in the forest called Mbeli Bay. To get to Mbeli Bay involves a slow paddle along a bewitched stream amidst clouds of butterflies. Great shot. This is like a movie. Then you walk 45 minutes into the forest to an observation platform built by scientists overlooking the forest clearing. Here you sit quietly waiting for the wildlife which comes to feed. Gorillas, elephants, and antelopes. Mandika Camp in the Republic of Congo Park is where you begin your trek to see habituated gorillas. There are two silverbacks and their families who you can meet. Their names are Kingo and Boka. Kingo is a famous gorilla, the star of many travel and nature documentaries. He may look like a prize fighter, but scientists who know him well say Kingo is an absolute gentleman. Even if Kingo turns his back to you in a gorilla snub, he allows you to be close to his wives and children. This is an enormous privilege. This is the bond of trust between two primate species. It is impossible to attach a monetary value to it. If you've already come the great distance to Nubali and Doki National Park in the Republic of Congo, then it makes sense to continue up the Sangha River to Zonga and Doki National Park in the Central African Republic. These two parks complement each other. While you have stayed in simple science camps in the Republic of Congo, here in the Central African Republic you will find two comfortable tourist lodges close to the village of Bayanga. While it is wild gorillas that you hope to see at Mbeli Bay in the Republic of Congo, it is elephants that you want to see at Zangabai in the Central African Republic.
Here scores of elephants may collect daily to extract minerals from the swampy soil. Flocks of noisy African grey parrots gather here too. You might also see forest buffalo, bongo and sitatunga antelope. But the elephants are what Zongabai is all about. In the forests of the Central African Republic are the indigenous people called Baba. They are an ancient hunter and gatherer group. We go net hunting with them one morning, an activity they adore. Baka women explain the plants they use from the forest as traditional medicines. The Central African Park also has a habituated gorilla program. This is why I like combining visits to both parks. You get two opportunities to see habituated gorillas. This is Makumba, the first habituated Central African Republic silverback. He is a very handsome fellow with several wives and offspring. I look forward to introducing you to Makumba and Kingo and Boka in the Republic of Congo. Perhaps this safari is best summed up by the inspired MasterCard ad of several years ago. International airline tickets, $2,500. Wildlife permits, $1,000. Room and board in simple camps, $400 a day. Looking into a gorilla's eyes, priceless. Good one. Good one. <laughs> <laughs>